Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed this pharmacist dashboard part of pharmacy management system project. If you are not seeing that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on add medicine part. So let us start with that. Let me exit this application and let me create a new JFrame for add medicine. So JFrame form and here we write add medicine and click on finish you can see a form has been created let's resize this to 850 comma 500 and let me also close the below this one and after that we are going to remove min max close button from here so i'm going to click on this one and click on close i'm going to place a label over here at the center of this one and i'm going to write here add medicine and i'm going to increase the sizes to 36 i'm going to make it as bold 36 okay and close this I'm going to perfectly place over here and then we need here a separator and we also need a button so let's place a button first and i'm going to edit this text and and we're going to first change, check the select the icon and i'm also going to remove this text from the button and i'm going to decrease the size of this one too this and I'm going to place it the corner of this page. Then we are going to get the separator, place it over here. Let's increase the sizes to max of this one. Let me drag this one also. And after that, we need here we need to create the field. So I'm going to place the first label over here, and that will be medicine ID. And for that, we need here text field. So I'm going to write here text field. And I'm going to place it to 300 size. And after that, the next field will be for name. And here I'm going to write here name. And the next field will be text field. I'm going to place it over here. Let me increase the size to 300. And after that, the next field will be for company name, medicines company name. Here we have to enter, and it will be text field. Let me increase the size of this one. And after that, the we have to enter the quantity which is available in our stock. So quantity, and this one we also need here text field. Place it over here. Let me increase the size of this one. And after that, here we have to enter the price per unit. So I'm going to write here price per unit. And for that, we also need here text field. Let me increase the sizes to 300. And and here we have to place a button over here and let me select all these uh, fields and let me make it as bold 12 we have to select this one and we have to select bold 12 ok and close this let me place this all uh, let me make these things to the center of this page like this and we also need to edit the text as well as uh, change the name icon so the save and here we have to write save click on close this and we have to remove all the text from this one okay so remove this text remove this text also remove this one also and this one also and now we have to select all this and make it little bright because it's not in the center. Uh, now it's perfect. Save this and change the layout of this one. So I'm going to set the absolute layout and I'm going to place it over here a label and I'm going to set the background. So I'm going to select the all page background dot PNG image. I'm going to place it at the center of this page completely on the page and double click on to remove the label name and save this. After that, we have to create a table so that we can store the data. So we have to go, go to the DAO package and we have to go to the tables and 
here we have to insert so i'm going to comment this two lines actually because we already executed this too so we don't need to execute and generate the exception again so i'm going to write here st dot execute update and here we have to write double quotes and here we have to write create d8 table medicine and after that here we have to write medicine underscore bk int and auto underscore increment and it should be also primary key and here we have to write unique id we have to change uh, like we are getting the input from the user for that particular product or medicine you can say so unique id we are going to store it over here so name after that name pair care and it should be of 200 after name the next field will be for company a and y company name pair care making it as 200 after that quantity and it will be big int and price will be also big int we are going to store like this let me show you the complete one so create table medicine medicines underscore pk int auto increment primary key unique id varicate 200 name varicate 200 company name varicate 200 quantity uh, big int and price big int. So I'm going to format this one and I'm going to run this one. So it will create a table. You can see table created successfully. Click on OK and let's go to the database. And if I show tables, you can see we are able to see the medicine state. So let me show you the description of that one. You can see over here. Now we have to go to the get back to the add medicine and here we have to go to the source and here we have to write public or private string and number pattern in the same pattern which we are using for contact number or mobile number we are going to use it over here so i'm going to paste it over here and here we have to set location location relative to null and after this we have to write the code to like add this one so we have to generate the event first so i'm going to click on save so it will generate an event inside this one we have to write the code so first we also need to rename all the text fields so i'm going to change the variable so txt unique id this one after that we have name so txt name and here we have to change to txt txt company name and after that we have txt quantity press enter and after that txt price per unit okay and save it get back to that event and here we write a string unique id is equals to txt unique dot get text and after that we have next field will be name so txt name dot get text and string company name is equals to txt company name dot get text and after that we have to add a string quantity and txt quantity dot get text and after that the next will be for price so txt price per unit dot get text 
and after that we also need to add few validations so let's write here if unique id dot equals this like this so in that case we need to display that this field is required so g option ban dot show message dialog null and here we need to write unique id unique word medicine id you can see it medicine id is required we have to write display this message and then else if we have to write uh, like name dot equals double code so i'm going to copy this line of the code and paste it over here inside this one i'm going to change this one to name okay so it should be also contain name field and a medicine field or name field is required then i will copy this one and here we write else if after name the next field will be for company name so company name dot equals double quotes and here we have just just it there and here we have write company name field is required and else if quantity so quantity dot equals quotes and here we have to start the bracket and here we have to write quantity field is required and else if we also need to check that the given input fields are in number or not so we have to check the pattern so quantity dot match and here we have to pass the number pattern and if this does not match so we have to display here quantity t field is invalid invalid we need to display this error and in else if condition next will be uh, like price so price dot equals equals double quotes and here we have to paste it and here we have to paste it over here and here we have to write price per unit is required and else if we also need to match the pattern so price dot match number pattern and here we are going to place it and here we need to change this to price per unit and here you write invalid invalid and at last we have to write here else condition and in that we are going to write the code to insert so first we need to import here so import uh, java dot sql dot asterisk let's get back to the code in else condition and then we have to write the connection con equals to connection provider class so connection provider connection provider we need to import this one from DAO package dot get con and prepared prepared statement yes is equals to con dot prepared statement this one and here we have to write the query so i'm going to write here insert into medicine and here we have to write the field name so unique id name company name and quantity price and after that values question mark one two three four and five and it's showing some kind of error 
Okay, so till now we did not uh, write the try catch block. It should be in try catch block to suppress the exceptions. So I'm going to write it try. And we are going to write catch block. Catch block. And here we have write exception E. Let me minimize this one for now. And here we have to write, we also need to display if any error occur. So G option pan dot show messages dialog null and whatever the error occur, we have to just display that. And you can see error has been removed. And here you can see the query insert into medicines unique ID name, company name, quantity, price, and values. Okay. And after that, we have to write here yes dot set the string. And here we have to write unique ID. Unique ID. Yes dot set string. And here we have to write name. Yes dot set string. And here third company name. And ps dot set string, and here we have to write four. And here we have to write quantity, and ps dot set string. Here we have to write five, and here we need to change the price, and then we have to write ps dot execute, execute, update this one. And then we need to display a message. So G option pan dot show message dialog null. And here we have to write medicine added successfully. And here we have to write set visible true and new add medicine dot set visible we are going to write here true so it's giving us some kind of error okay it should be in, it should be a text so in double quotes and save this and we need to connect this one with the pharmacist dashboard so go to that one okay it decreases size okay not a problem save this and if i click, double click on this add medicine and then we are going to write a new add medicines dot set visible and here marking as true. Now let me run this uh, pharmacist in dashboard and here you can see if I click on admin add medicine sorry and I'm going to write a 100 and I'm going to write here test name and company name I'm also going to write test company name quantity if i write something text and if i try to write here text if i try to save this you can see quantity field is invalid we are getting i'm going to change this to 10 and i'm trying to save this price per unit is wrong so i'm going to change this to 100 and if i click on save medicines added successfully it means that it's working fine as expected so close button, we did not write the code for the close button. So let me close this application, write the code for that. And here we have to go to the add medicines and here double click on this one. And here we have to write set visible. And here we have to write false. Now let's start again this one, run file. And if I click on add medicines, you can see we are, and then we close it, it works. Let me exit this application. Let me show you in the database that uh, we are able to insert the data or not. So select medicine, click on enter. You can see here the unique ID name, company name, quantity, price, all these details you are able to see over. So it means that our ad medicines is working as expected. So I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.